Hi guys, Lacey here with Wooden Wicks Candle Company. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I frost my bath bomb cupcakes. And I'm not showing the part where I make the cupcakes themselves because making a bath bomb is making a bath bomb. It's pretty simple and easy. The techniques are pretty much that. I can't say they're easy. They're really not. It does take some skill to get them to work out properly. I still have issues sometimes. Even uh, people with several years experience have issues with bath bombs because your climate, your weather has a lot to do with how they set up and how they behave. Um, however, the technique for everybody is pretty much the same with mixing your dry ingredients, adding your wet ingredients, adding a binder, and then putting them in a mold. So I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of your time today watching me do something that you've probably seen several people do several different ways. However, most people do enjoy watching frosting videos of either cakes, um, cupcakes, bath bomb soap, it doesn't matter. So I wanted to include the most enjoyable part of the bath bomb cupcake making, which is the frosting. Um, so I have prepared the bath bomb in, in advance, and um, I've also prepared the bubble frosting that I use in advance, which is just a pipeable bubble bar that does give copious amounts of bubbles in the bathtub. So without further ado, let's get started and show you how I frost my bath bomb cupcakes. Thanks guys, have a great day. Hi guys, I am back and today I'm doing a real quick frosting video. Um, when I first announced to my group that I had videos that I was going to pl place on um, YouTube, I said that I had a few of the bath and body stuff that I had done recently. Well, unfortunately, I am the most untechnical person ever and I accidentally erased every freaking one of them. So I thought that I would come back and show y'all some, I've, I've put some wax stuff up, but I've got just about all the wax done for the pre-order. And um, so I am doing the, just the frosting here. I mean, I could show you all the bath bomb stuff, but if anybody has seen a bath bomb be made, the powder, the mixing, the packing, the, the, just the molding, it's pretty much the same. So what I'm doing here is I have my bubble frosting, and this is um, not my recipe. I got this off of Etsy from a, a lady that is an amazing, um, she has amazing recipes for Bath and Body. Um, it's called uh, DIY Bath and Body is the name of her site. I also use her foaming bath butter. Now I started off with her recipes. I have tweaked them a little bit, um, but I don't think that I've tweaked them enough to truly call them my recipes. I would think that they're still hers, but just with a little lacy adjustment but I, I don't feel like it's changed enough to really um, justify calling it my recipe. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going into the rest of the bowl here where I mixed up my colors. And um, I have on gloves, so my fingers are, are quite uh, sanitary. And I'm just, I'm so frugal. I like to use every bit. And I found that this frosting will stick better if it has a small bit just smeared right on the top like it were better. So, and that gives it something to adhere to so that it doesn't just fall off. Now, I have gone in and I've dusted all of the tops of my cupcakes here. And these are really cute. They're um, confetti bath bomb cupcakes. They do have uh, the embeds that I use on the inside, which is a completely different recipe. It fizzes and it has a lot more dye in it so that you get those bright colors when you get that fizzing. Um, I just crunched up some of those and added those into my recipe to give it a confetti look. So you'll have little spots all throughout the water. It's very pretty. And then in the inside, I do have some yellow and some orange because those are the only colors that are not mixed in throughout the bath bomb. So you do have embeds in here to make it spin and be pretty. So I'm just kind of adding, smearing a little bit of this on here to um, use up what I have left on my spoon here and be frugal. And to make sure that it is going to adhere to my cupcake top really good. They're just, I have already brushed these off. Um, they're a little powdery. I'm in Texas. That's why I use the Bath Bomb Cupcakes. Our weather this year is so crazy. We have more humidity and rain than we usually do. <laughs> And um, I'm going to tell you, it's really messed with my recipe. I am having to find that I 
am having to make a lot of adjustments and it's been very frustrating but um, I found that the the bath bomb cupcakes are working out very well for me it's the ones that I'm putting in the molds that I'm just not happy with so I've chosen to to hold off on those for right now I'm still working on it and I may get it there before um, I get the grand opening on the 13th well it's not really grand opening I've been open for two years but the reopening so I'm just squirting that on there real quick I'm showing you all the frosting because this is something that a lot of people just say is a satisfying video and they like to watch somebody frost and um, these are done in a sour apple watermelon fragrance oil by nature's garden I absolutely love that fragrance I'm going to go rinse my hand off real quick. Okay, so um, as I was saying, this is done in the Sour Watermelon Candy fragrance by Nature's Garden, which is a wonderful, very um, sweet, tart, delicious, juicy watermelon fragrance. And it does have a little bit of that, um, I wouldn't call it the Jolly Ranchers fragrance, but it's very close. Uh, it's, it's really a wonderful fragrance. I love it for Bath & Body more than anything. Okay, so I have those first little dollops on there. And this is super, this is the best dadgum bubble frosting I've ever <laughs> worked with. The other ones that I've used in the past, you have to frost so fast because it'll harden in your bag. And... Half the time I would be halfway done and my stuff would be hard. It was just, I was beside myself. So, um, I've, this is a dream. It, it, you can master batch this and keep it in, in a container, airtight container for days and pull out what you need, fragrance, color, and go. This is amazing stuff. So, um, for these, I'm just going to start. Look how beautiful that pipes. Do you see that? Start right there on that little spot that I made. Then we're just going to do a little dollop around. Oh, I have a hole in my bag. That's lovely. And then a dollop on top. And I do not know how I got a little hole in my bag, but I have a hole in my bag. Let me put my finger over that. Hopefully that will help. Okay, so we're just going to continue on here. Just a dollop, go around here and then around to the top. I don't like putting super high tops on these because it takes them, oops, I forgot my center. See, it's not even going to stick unless I do it right there on the center. And then that grounds it and gives it something to, to stick on to. So, oh, that's so awesome. I, it's so satisfying for me. I love this. And this frosting is amazing. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't like piling them too very high because it uh, takes it so long to dry. That's one thing about this frosting is it doesn't set up nearly as fast as the other ones do. But it takes longer. <clears throat> but look at the consistency of this. Oh, let me see. I'm ADD in there. Going off on one end and... Not finishing what I start here. Okay, so but look at the smooth, creamy, beautiful texture on that. I hope y'all can see that because I can't see. There we go. All right, so it's going to, and I'm using um, just a. These are actually disposable bags, but I reuse them because I'm super stinking frugal. I try to save every penny I can in every way so I can pass that savings on to y'all. All right, so um, just finishing this up, going around, oops. And then on top, and kind of scrape down a little bit, so best way to do that is just to kind of take your bag and spread it out and then my husband gets so angry with me but my favorite thing to use is his barbecue grill <laughs> spatula 
So I just take it and push, and it makes him angry that I even use this. But it works beautifully. You just kind of push everything down. You can any flat surface or ruler will work. Anything will work. And just kind of push that down there so you get every little bitty bit. All right. Looks like I kind of got that down past that little hole in the bag, too. Looks like this bag has served its purpose for me. Thank you so much for the numerous uses I've gotten out of you. Can tell that you are ready to retire. All right, back to the rat killing. Just a little dollop in the middle. We're gonna go around the edge. A little dollop on top. So here they are. I am going to sprinkle some fairy dust on these in uh, violet and green. I don't do that here in my kitchen because I get yelled at by Brady, which is my husband, because that stuff is super airborne and he says he's tired of seeing glitter on everything. I understand. So I have to do that in my other room, in my little work room, where the ventilation is proper. So let, I will get that done and I will um, come back and show y'all the finished product. And I'm also gonna show you the demo of the extra cupcake that I have here. All right guys, thanks a lot. It's been fun and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will have more videos for Bath and Body coming because I am working on that more this week to try to get some stuff for the, the site done. Um, so until I see you next time, thanks guys. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe guys.